come and knock on our door. It was all smiles in that catchy opening to the 70s TV classic, Three's Company. Three's Company too. But maybe three was a crowd, because behind the scenes in that cozy little apartment, things got pretty ugly. I thought they treated me shabbily and I didn't like her. Maybe she had a dream and she couldn't tell the difference between waking and doing, I don't know. Oh! The three of us were, were completely coming from different places. Now for the first time, Inside Edition has interviewed stars John Ritter, Suzanne Somers, and Joyce DeWitt about the Three's Company Wars. Well, no. It's a hot topic with the release of two new books, Come and Knock on Our Door by Chris Mann, a scrapbook of memories from the cast, and Suzanne Summers' very different account, After the Fall. Instead of working out the past on her thigh master, Suzanne did it on paper, and that has Joyce seeing red. She chooses to remember things that didn't happen that shed a very negative light on John and I, and it's real too bad. It really is. It's very sad. And when we showed Joyce's interview to Suzanne, it was fireworks. She chose to use tactics that were off the charts unacceptable. What do you think about what it's she's so, saying? It's so incorrect. As I sit here, I, it actually makes me laugh. Um, and frankly, it makes me a little angry. I didn't know I still had any of those feelings. But she doesn't get me. And I don't get her. Ouch! It seems only Ritter, who played the womanizing Jack on the show, is keeping a sense of humor about things. We talked with him on the set of his upcoming TV movie, Holy Joe. I would say, let's get naked, group hug, and start from there. John is John. John kind of floats happily through life. The real ill feelings have been between Summers, a.k.a. the ditzy Chrissy, and DeWitt, a.k.a. the sensible Janet. The two actresses haven't spoken in 17 years. She told me I was the cruelest, most manipulative person she'd never known in her life, and I remember being stunned. In her book, Suzanne writes that Joyce was jealous of her success. How she could possibly say that I had a jealous bone in my body. It's not my nature. <laughs> this is where you guys actually filmed it. Joyce took a stroll with us on the Santa Monica Pier used on Three's Company. She's been living a low-key life in New Mexico, but is now gearing up for a Hollywood comeback. She told us her main problem with Summer's story is her version of when Suzanne was fired from the show after asking for a raise. In her book, Suzanne says that you and John were not supportive of her during her negotiation. Is that true? That's an absolute lie. That's the act of a very desperate person. She knows nothing about my life and my motives or anything. Joyce says it was Suzanne who alienated her and John by not showing up for tapings. Her position was, not only will I not do the show if I don't get what I want, but not, you guys won't get to do it either. And that was like, whoa. Joyce feels that I missed several tapings. And I did not. I did not miss them. I was told not to come. Joyce also claims that she has attempted to write and call Suzanne, but has not heard a word back. She says that she wrote me and that I never responded. So what can I say? In your book, you do write that if someday you two were to meet each other, perhaps a hug. Well, I, hug felt that when, I felt that when I was writing the book, but when I see this, I think, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So don't hold your breath for a Three's Company reunion. However, John says he and Joyce talk often, and he recently buried the hatchet with Suzanne. We both just said, you know, let's move on, and, and it was a long time coming. And it's John who may have the answer on how to give this very unfunny Three's Company episode a happy ending. Let's forgive and forget and go on, and, it, and it's, it's easier to go through life with an open heart than a clenched fist. Three's Company too.